But, but more importantly, why I wanted you to come, especially the permanent secretaries, because the politicians have come here before, the members of parliament, uh, the ministers, but the, I don't think the civil, so the permanent secretaries have been here before, this area. Really, the message I want to insist is the issue of wealth creation in the homes. I really don't know how we, can, we shall continue talking about this endlessly and people just running around, wasting time, talking nonsense, and we just politely try to, 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 to massage them, but doing nothing. Because if you deal with, with homestead incomes correctly, you have seen <laughs> the, the infrastructure here is very bad, the road is impassable, it's not good, it is remote, very far. I'm glad we have been able to bring electricity because the electricity was not there. But now it has come. You heard how they were talking about the, uh, the telephones. Now they have telephones. The other man said he could, he, he could ring people in Tanzania. Uh, then there is uh, water. You heard there's something about some water. But otherwise, the infrastructure is not there. But when we started the campaign near Waikitura, because that's really where I, I, I did the work to change the cattle keepers from traditional cattle keeping to commercial, semi-commercial, I did it mainly around Waikitura. So because these are the same fellows, they had they heard that, oh, people in uh, the Rochelle area are getting money. So they would come, they would, uh, then they would copy. The only thing I did here was I gave a bull, a Frisian bull, from my farm, from uh, Raikstura, to, to the father of the other boy who, whom they were saying he was chairman, the one who spoke. Just a bull. And when he came and the bulls, they, they, everybody copied. They did it on their own. The only thing was the example. So now, of course, they have moved, but they still have a long way. You can see these are potentially very rich people, but they are still underutilizing the land by the free range method. We are now trying to move them free range to the Nyakana model, where you don't do free range, uh, you do uh, intensive farming. If they do that, there will be, Uganda will totally change. They will be billionaires. So this is the, 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 the message I want us to, to, to get. All these things you keep talking about, doing this one, this one, these really are off the point. As we come to the conclusion of this remarkable retreat, I'm filled with a deep sense of gratitude and optimism. Over the past few days, we've been engaged in a meaningful discussions. We have shared valuable insights and crafted strategic plans that will guide our nation forward. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to you, Your Excellency Mzei, for your support, guidance, and presence at this retreat. <laughs> this is invaluable, and we are inspired by your dedication to serving our great nation. To you, honorable members of cabinet, permanent secretaries, your contributions have been instrumental in shaping the outcomes of this retreat. Your expertise, experience, and commitment to public service are the bedrock of our government success. The collaborative spirit you have demonstrated here is a testament to the strength of our administration. Do appreciate the keynote address and guidance of His Excellency General Yoweri Kaguta Museveni, President of the Republic of Uganda, Chairman of the National Resistance Movement, which centered on the fight against corruption, reflective of the mass approach to embracing the money economy, with emphasis on value addition 
commercial agriculture, manufacturing in, uh, and industry, services and, IT, and ICT. And his call for all the public service leaders to be change agents and lead the work to social economic transformation through wealth creation by household. Committed to fulfilling the ideological aspirations of the national resistance movement and the country's agenda to social economic transformation, do hereby resolve under the sub themes as follows. One, leadership. In line with the government's commitment to effective leadership to steer, the Uganda, to steer Uganda's social economic transformation agenda, it was resolved to one, work as one team, one dream. The three arms of government should always closely coordinate and work in harmony. Adopt and keep up to date with technology to enhance efficiency in service delivery. Create clear strategic goals that are citizen-centric and redirect all our efforts to achieve them. Institutionalize mentorship in government institutions. Enforce standards to ensure compliance and conduct regular induction programs before assumption of duty and refresher training courses for ministers and permanent secretaries to enhance leadership capacity. Mindset change, underscoring the relevance of civic competence in the development of a country, it was resolved to a, develop and promote a set of national values to drive social economic transformation of our country. Strengthen the, su the succession planning regime through promotion of inter intergenerational mentoring in all institutions of government. Adopt an education system that instills a strong sense of patriotism at all levels and incorporate indigenous culture and traditional knowledge. Develop and implement a complementary communication strategy to effectively brand Uganda and make Uganda a preferred investment destination. Three, relationship of ministers to ministers, ministers to permanent secretaries, reaffirming the strong desire and commitment of the national resistance movement in upholding its ideology, ministers and permanent secretaries should have a clear understanding of the key tenets of the ideology, patriotism, pan-Africanism, social economic transformation. In the sense, we, are, we are going to change it. It's going to start now with social economic transformation, then have the other. This should always guide the policy form formulation and implementation. Whereas the roles and responsibilities of some ministers have not been clearly delineated, it was resolved as follows. The cabinet minister is the political head of a ministry with overall supervision of the ministry, while the ministers of state have specified roles and functions that they take lead and should always work together as a team. Clear job roles and schedules of duties will be issued in consultation with each the president. Make deliberate effort to strengthen the strategic vision of both ministers and permanent secretaries. Accelerate the use of technology to guide digital transformation and e-government. Enhance collaboration in building partnership and facilitate interministerial coordination. Demonstrate commitment to public service delivery. Be citizen-centric, ethical, and accountable. Institutionalize meetings where they have been held in ad hoc manner and designate particular days for meeting among ministers in each ministry to facilitate information sharing, openness, and transparency. Four, whole of government approach. Acknowledging the significance of the whole of government approach, it was resolved that government should, in addition, embrace the whole of nation approach, considering the changing demographics, technological advancement, multiplicity of client needs, complexity, and related, interrelatedness of the challenges posed by a cross-generational way of doing business. Reorient the leaders to abandon the traditional leadership method and embrace contemporary ways of doing business. Automate business processes, embrace and prioritize funding in artificial intelligence as an enabler, develop an artificial intelligence policy which with a detailed implementation roadmap, develop a risk management strategy and invest in building capacity of the users. Performance management, underscoring the contribution of a robust performance management system in improving the development, of, development outcomes of our country, it was resolved to select a performance management system that resonates with the development needs of Uganda. Demonstrate political will. Government should 
make deliberate efforts to invest in managing performance of public officers, strengthen the reward and sanction regime, harmonize pay in public service and invest in strengthening system and institutions that are responsive to service delivery. Strengthen planning for better service delivery, taking into account the ruling party's position, among others. Right size funding demand through improved prioritization and reflects the true development needs of Uganda and do away with undefined, unfunded priorities. Key performing syndicators should be responsive to the key development outcomes to improve reporting on results. Enhance the role of the Office of the Prime Minister in coordination, monitoring, and evaluation of government performance. Harmonize terms and conditions of all persons working for government institutions, for the government of Uganda, that is ministries, departments, and agencies, in, the, in terms of the retirement age for public universities, government and donor-funded project staff, and provide for the, for the latter to be recruited by the appropriate appointing authority, just like other persons working in the public service. Progressively increase wage allocation to address the critical manpower needs in local government. Maximize the potential of existing staff through optimal utilization. Reimagining, re reimagining, re the taxation and narrowing of the physical gap. Noting the significance of taxation as a source of government resources and the need for balance for a balance between revenues and expenditure of government, it was resolved that there is need to develop a strategy for implementation of vertical and horizontal integration business model for the economy. Promote value addition to increase competitiveness of Ugandan products on the local and international market in order to increase revenue. For example, value intervention in the dairy industry is a clear manifestation that this strategic information can transform Uganda for subsist from subsistence to predominantly market economy. Simplify tax filing to motivate citizens to pay taxes voluntarily. Information on success stories on implementation of government uh, projects and intervention should be widely disseminated to account for the utilization of taxes to the public. Lower the cost of public expenditure. For example, redirect health service interventions from preventive health, from curative, from curative health care service to preventive health care service. Fast track rationalization of government agencies to reduce public expenditure, leverage on ICT to automate government system and processes and embrace artificial intelligence. Cabinet performance, cognizant of the role of cabinet in determining and formulating and implementing the policy of government as provided for under the constitution, the effectiveness and efficiency in conducting cabinet business is of paramount importance and was re therefore resolved as follows. Cab cabinet members should observe cabinet rules in the conduct of cabinet business. Establishment of cabinet subcommittees should be considered by cabinet. Members should adhere to the official oath and the oath of secrecy. Technical officers accompanying ministers to cabinet should be at the minimum level of commissioner. Create a working room for technical persons who come to cabinet to support cabinet ministers. Cabinet files should be received before Friday. Cabinet secretary should not facilitate the movement of cheats between members of cabinet and should embrace the use of technology to facilitate cabinet business. Meetings between the president and the minister will be organized at least once a year for each ministry.